KPFC News at 9, Bakersfield's first choice in Bakersfield's first church. All kids news, all the time. With Angelina Sasser, this is Breaking News. Breaking News, kids grades K through 6 are taking over the fellowship hall every Wednesday night starting September 11th. It's called the Newsroom, and the kids can't get enough. Every Wednesday from 6.30 to 8 p.m. starting September 11th, come and learn with Buck Denver as he asks, What's in the Bible? Hi, I'm Debbie Abbey. And my name is Chuck Abbey. And we went to Financial Peace University last year. Before we went to Financial Peace, our finances were, let's say, um, not so good. I didn't really realize uh, how much the debt we had acquired. I had been making a decent salary and she made a good salary. So it was just a matter of not knowing where the money was going, right? That's right. So we decided to go to Financial Peace and check it out and uh, we found out it was a nine week class and it was, uh, it was quite eye opening. It just tur completely turned our life around. And it wasn't that we weren't making enough money, it's just that we weren't spending it in the proper way. We could uh, actually put down on paper what our debts are and watch them be paid off. We called it the debt snowball. After going to Financial Peace last year, we've decided we're going to return and go back again this year. And we'll probably continue because we feel that there, we didn't get everything or listen to everything that we probably should have. And we know that there's more out there that we can do to help ourselves. The whole concept is knowing where every dollar goes. And now we can sit down and we can do our budget in, in the first part of the month and we can tell that dollar where to go. We know where it's going to go before. We weren't sure what the money was going for. It was just gone. Financial pieces for anyone who wants to go. They can be individuals, um, single individuals. They can be um, engaged couples. They can be uh, married couples. Any ages, young, in high school, or like us, retired and almost retired. <laughs> we learned so much that we, we quickly realized that this might very well be the answer that, that we were looking for. And in fact, it was. And we can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. Yeah, there is light. There is a goal, and we know we can reach that goal through our class with Financial Peace University. Good morning, and welcome to Bakersfield First Church. I'm Pastor Brian, and I want to say welcome. If you're visiting with us, we're glad you're here. This is a church that's marked by three things. Christ's presence in our lives, the Spirit's presence in our church, and our presence in the community. You may notice Tim and Shauna aren't here this week. That's because they just landed lead roles in the new Iron Man 4. Tony Stark has a problem, and this time, it's biblical. Today is the last day to register for the men's retreat. We were trying to help somehow encapsulate how great this event is going to be. And the one thing we've realized that we've left out every week is the fact that there's going to be bacon involved. And we tried to think of some clever way to instill that in your subconscious to encourage you to register right away, since today is the last day to register. So we tossed around a few ideas like the bacon bunch, bacon PI, and even bacon heart. But ultimately we landed with the title, There Will Be Bacon. So, there will be bacon September 6th through 8th at the men's retreat. So sign up by emailing Kevin Holland. If you have a trailer, you also need to let him know. If you're tired of being in the city and you want to get out and experience God, then you need to go to Faith in the Wild September 27th and 28th. It's going to be a great time to connect with God in the wilderness at Lone Pine Camp. So, register on the website at bfcnaz.com. On September 13th, Nazarenes are going to be invading Six Flags Magic Mountain. If you want to be one of them, you need to contact Pastor Ben to get tickets and more information. Well, those are the announcements for your Labor Day weekend. Why don't we all stand and continue to worship? 